Hi Fixer family, it's Charmin. And on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take pallet wood, mason jars, and Dollar Tree flowers to make these beautiful wall hangings. Welcome to Fixin' Two. supplies that you're going to need for this project. Now you can use either one by sixes or you can also use pallet wood. I'm using pallet wood today and it's measured 15 inches long. You'll need two brackets of some form to be able to hang your mason jar from. You'll need uh, Dollar Tree flowers or any kind of flowers that you want. I'm using hydrangeas today. You'll also need um, paint. Now I'm using uh, Rust-Oleum's chalk paint in the color chiffon cream, and I'm also using Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color burnt umber. You'll need two mason jars with the lids removed. I'm using pint-sized mason, mason jars, two paint brushes for both of your colors of paint, jute twine, and also damp paper towels. These are what you'll need to get this uh, started, so let's go. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fix my flowers. Now Dollar Tree's, um, their hydrangeas are kind of sparse, and so I took two of the hydrangea uh, heads and I'm going to put them together and you'll see I'm using the leaves right here as I'm putting them together but later on I will cut those off. But you'll also need some um, floral wire we're going to take just a piece of that and we're just going to cut this off and use this to tighten those two hydrangea heads together so that they um, stay together and create a beautiful hydrangea flower head. Now I've taken my pallet wood and I've sanded it down really well using 120 grit sandpaper. Now that it's prepared, I'm ready to do the staining effect using the acrylic paint. So basically I'm going to take the acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint it on and with a wet paper towel, I'm gonna wipe it off and that creates a staining effect that looks like stain, but it dries much quicker. I will link in the iCards above a, a um, sign that I did at Christmas time using this technique, and it goes into just a little bit more details with it. As you can see, I have put on some gloves for this step. We have uh, done the, um, all of our wood and we're gonna take our Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color chiffon cream and we are going to paint our mason jars on the outside. So basically we'll take our two clean mason jars and we're going to put two coats of the chalk paint on these and basically I let it dry in between each coat. Now 
And we're gonna set those aside and let those dry. While they're drying, I am going to put on my brackets. Now these brackets are actually just center supports of some curtain rods that I put up recently when I did my farmhouse curtains. I'll link that in the iCards above. I just measured to get the center point there and um, used my drill to put them on. Now that these are completely dry, we're ready to distress them and give them some character. And basically I took my 120 grit sandpaper and I just hit the high points of the mason jar all around and even a little extra around the corners and stuff like that. It's just really as much or as little distressing as you want. And once you get those um, distressed like you want, we're just gonna take a paper towel and dust them off and we're ready for the next step. So now we're gonna take our hot glue gun and our jute twine and we're just gonna put a little dab on each side and hang our jute twine. I've taken 13 inches of jute twine and I got four strands and put them together and I'm gonna glue them on one side of the jar and then turn it over and basically put the other end the same way using a little dab of hot glue. I'm gonna put the, um, the jute twine together at the end, glue it down, and then what we'll do is we're gonna take more jute twine and wrap it around there for some added stability. What we're gonna do is just take the jute twine, we're gonna tie a knot in it, leaving a tail on one end so that once we're finished wrapping, we can tie the other end to the same one, if that makes sense. And we're just gonna wrap it around a few times to give it that uh, secure stability to hold the little hanger that we made with the other. There you have it, beautiful mason jar sconces or wall hangings, however you want to look at that, hanging on the wall and you can put whatever flowers you want in there. I think they turned out beautiful. The color of these mason jars are the same color, the same paint that I used when I did the dresser um, in a previous video. Well guys, if this is the first time to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you too can become a part of the Fixer family. We'd love to have you. Give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. And always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.